Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the shrine, not a crowned prince was stirring, his sleep still divine. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that some more socks soon would be there. The juniors were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of night hunts danced in their heads. Lanjan in his headband, and I in his lap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. When in the sky suddenly, there with a swish, a miniature boat and eight tiny bonefish. With a little old driver, so tall, dark, and long, I knew in a moment it must be Ming Zhang. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Peanut, now Junior, now Fishy and Salmon, on Swedish, on Ahab, on Moby, on Famine. To the top of the porch, to the hole in the wall. Now swim away, swim away, swim away all. So up the housetop the coursers they flew, with a boat full of fish, and Shi Qingxuan too. And then I could hear, on the roof made of tin, the slipping and slapping of each little fin. As I drew in my head, and was turning around, down the chimney Blackwater came with a bound. He was dressed black and gold from head to his his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of socks was flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes had dark circles, his teeth sharp and scary. His cheeks were so sunken, his gaze tired and bleary. He was skinny and wet, a downtrodden old ghost, and I laughed when I saw, withholding my roast. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had everything to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work, leaving Shilian socks, then turned with a jerk, and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprung to his boat, where Hua Chung gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, just like he was used to, Happy Christmas to all, except for Shiwudu.